Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Cut to the Chase Fashion. If you're new to my channel, Cut to the Chase Fashion is a men's big and tall fashion content channel. I do a lot of lifestyle, travel, food, just a whole bunch of stuff. But in this video for today, I'm going to be going over some of the fashion books that I've started to collect. I'm a big lover of fashion and I love learning about you know the history of fashion and things like that so I just wanted to share with you guys what I have so far like I said I've started building a collection I have a couple of Vogue books I have some little mini books on certain brands and I'm just so excited to show you guys so let's get into today's video we just don't wait for the, for the sirens to you know see so first I have this mini um, it's called the little book of Louis Vuitton the story of the iconic fashion house by Karen Homer. I hope I'm saying that right. This is, um, just to let you know, these books, I have one other one on the House of Yves Saint Laurent, and it's, um, you know, unpublished, unauthorized. It's kind of just like a, I guess you could say a satire kind of book. I don't really know. Cool, classic LV colors. Really cool. Got this on Amazon. There's the iconic Louis Vuitton print. Has very cool you know, just stories about the history of the bags, of the fashion. Oops, there you go. Just so you guys can see. If you notice on the back, they have some other books. There's one on Chanel, one on Dior that I want to pick up, one on Gucci, and one on Prada. This one, the little book of Yves Saint Laurent, and this one is just specifically about the designer himself. This one's by Emma Baxter Wright. Once again, unofficial and unauthorized, so just, you know, kind of a history of the, you know, designer and these brands. But I think they're really fun. Instead of getting a whole, like, huge book, like you see the Tom Ford books, you see the Chanel books, and things like that, the Dolce & Gabbana, you know, books like that. These are really just fun to kind of collect. You know, they stack very nicely. So they just stack very nicely on top of one another. You know, just for cool, you know, photos and just to have in your collection. But I'll show you guys this one up close. This Jagger and Bianca Jagger. I think this was them. I forgot where this was. I need to look this one up, but just very just cool. Like I said, I'm really into just like fashion, you know, classic their you know, iconic perfumes. And you know, there's scents and things like that, jewelry. Like, what? Just look. Good material. I mean, come on now. It's just glamour, and I just love. Like I said, I just love fashion. I recently picked up this book called Supreme Models. It is iconic black women who revolutionized fashion. Because let's face it, black women have always been at the forefront of fashion trends, of trends in general. And I just really, I've been wanting this one for like years. This one was. I think this one came out in, I need to look. This one came out in, I mean, come on now. Come on, like, look, look at this. Iman, low cover. I mean, it's just, it's just immaculate. It's just iconic. And let's see here. I mean, I can't, I keep getting distracted because I mean, it's just full of color, just full of live vibrancy. I mean, even from the cover, the model with this gold, like, created. Oh, the ring light's casting a shadow. There you go. I will link this down below. I have the year that was published on the screen. Sorry for making you guys wait so long. But, um, and then it has a nice, cool excerpt by Naomi Campbell. Supreme models define the importance of the black model, not just to fashion and culture, but also as an agent of change for how all people of color are seen globally. This book is an incredible collection of women, a group I'm honored to be a part of, who have made the fashion industry a more diverse, more inclusive place. They broke barriers, opened up doors, raised their voices, and showed us the power of visibility. And it's just, I mean, it's just something to have in your collection if you're really somebody who likes to collect these kinds of books. They're very, very inexpensive. Like, I think this one, this one, it says 50, but I got it on Amazon, so I think this one was a little less, but um, just definitely just something to have to show you once again. Ah, without the ring light, there we go. 
But I absolutely love this one. This one is the Vogue and, Metropol and the Metropolitan Museum of Art Costume Institute Parties, Exhibitions, and People. This one I just love. I love the cover of the Asian model in this blue and white, um, you know, kind of silk dress. Yes, it's just beautiful, beautiful color. I love the back too. Just very vibrant and just, just, just glamorous. I just love glamour. This is also published by Abrams out of New York. And this one was published in, let's see, this is an updated edition. So this one included like the year that they did the China Through the Looking Glass exhibition, hence why the Asian model is on the front. Sarah Jessica Parker and the late Alexander McQueen when they did the tartan. Really focused on designers out of the UK. You know, I'll get that. But oh, and then this one, which I absolutely love. This is the year that, uh, where'd it go? That Jackie O attended with the late John F. Kennedy, her pink satin ball gown, strapless ball gown with the white gloves. Absolutely, absolutely iconic. I just love, like I said, I just love and appreciate fashion and, you know, the art behind it because, you know, fashion can just tell a story. Like, this one's beautiful because this one, I love this one because this one had models but then also had actresses. Like, this one has Rose Byrne and Kristen Dunst. And they're kind of looking at Marie Antoinette, Victorian, you know, you know, I don't know the century to be honest with you because it is, but you know, this avant-garde opulence. You know, this one's just a really great book to have. Let's see what else is in here. Like this one I love. Like this one's very in homage to the 1920s. Kind of a flapper girl, flapper diva. This one I absolutely love. So this is another, another great book to have for your collection. Very, very well made, of course. And just very, you know, historic in my opinion. So I'm sure there will be another one in a couple of years. I luckily got to go see the camp exhibition, which was the last one before the one that they're having this year for the Met Gala. I know this year, the theme is American fashion, so I'm very excited to see, you know, what the stars are going to be wearing, what the men are going to be wearing, and things like that. So I'm definitely going to do a video on that. But I just absolutely love, you know, loved my experience with the Matt. And I'll, you know, I'll have pictures, you know, as I'm talking. But it was just really cool to see. I got to go during Fashion Week, which was even better. Just going up the Met steps and then, you know, entering through the museum and that grand staircase. And it was just... It was one of those kind of like where you kind of just have to take a moment and just take it all in because it's just, it's just something of like, it's just truly a work of art and just how, you know, Anna Wintour and the Vogue team and, you know, all these creatives and designers and everything like that have, you know, really just come together and just put together, you know, an exhibition on just fashion and art and history and the, you know, historicness and, you know, they raise it for the costume institute which you know they have different programs and you know the museum and all these different opportunities for you know young people who are interested in the art so i just think it's a really great cause and you know it ties into fashion and get to see you know your favorite stars you know dress up and all these things like that like i mean you know lady gaga last year or you know at the last night gala when she did the brandon maxwell look um billy porter you know Dua Lipa, Cardi B, Lizzo, just, all, it's just always great and it's just always fun to just see how like people, different people interpret, interpret, yeah, I said that right, interpret, yeah, and <laughs> different interpretations of what the theme is, so I just like absolutely love it, and so that is definitely something that if you can go to the Met at any point in time, but especially during when the exhibitions are taking place, Definitely try and do so. It's so worth it. You know, tickets are only, I think, maybe at most 25 30 per person. Maybe they're more. I don't know. You know, I have a link down below, too, if you're, you know, really interested. But I just, like, love it. As you can see, I can't stop talking about it. I just get so excited. But it's something that I should def you should definitely, definitely try out. And if you really want to get this book, like I said, or any of the books that I have, I'm going to link them all down below. 
I got them from Amazon. So, yeah. And then the last book that I have that I picked up is the Vogue Fantasy and Fashion. So this one I just really loved because I loved the, you know, idea of, you know, fantasy and fashion and how, you know, fashion is very artful, you know, full of art and just the avant-garde and the drama and things like that. And like, I love the back. I want to say, I'm sure this is just like a model, but it looks like, it looks like Kate Blanchett. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you, but it is kind of like fashion, like modern avant-garde, like Joan of Arc number that they styled for this shoot. It's just very just cool. And like, I love how like this one, she has like the pink hair with this like, ice like snow white gown on in this like garden it's just this one is just really one of my favorites as well another one manufactured by or um published by abrams new york see this one this one's very like fantasy very like colorful and like fun just very very imaginative and expressive like i said i just love i guess like i said i just love fashion and it's just very just cool and like this one's like Amber Valletta. Yeah, this is Amber Valletta. And it's just a simple kind of like she's like in a garden, you know, with like a cool like belty trench coat on. But it's just like the just the whole like story, like of how you can create stories within fashion where it's just like she kinda has just like a somber expression on her face. I'll get a little closer so you guys can see. But you know, it's kind of like, okay, what's her story? And that's just what I love about fashion is that you want to create a story as a designer. You want to create a, you know, you want to create a fantasy and things like that. Like, I mean, look at this. This is just, this is beautiful. This one uh, that I'm about to show you, um, it's called Portrait of Perry, or Paris. I said Perry. I just felt like feeling fancy. April 1998. Model is Audrey Marnay. And this one I just like absolutely love. She just looks like she's like, you know, getting ready to go to the opera or like the ballet. And it's like opulent, like ball gown with this matching mask. I just like absolutely love it. Like I said, I'm all about the drama. I'm all about the, you know, wow factor and things like that. And like I said, it's just very, very just like cool to see and things like that. Like I love this one. This one, this is Carly Claus. Let me see. Carly Cloth, it's called Run for the Roses. This was April 2020. So this is this one's pretty recent. This was during COVID. Photographed by Daniel Jackson. But like I love like how she's like on the corner with like all these flowers and this like floral like opera coat. And it's just like it's just fun and colorful and just like full of life and just like kind of like in my opinion, it's kind of like showing that like, you know, we're starting anew. You know, what is, you know, new growth and things like that during these times of COVID. So this is just a very, very awesome book to have as well. So that's it for what I have today for my fashion collection book. I'll probably do an updated version of this in a couple months as I get more. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these or, you know, maybe different ones, maybe ones, you know, for men's fashion and things like that. But I just absolutely love these. But you know, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'll link everything down below in the comments or in the description box below. And I just hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.